Hi, um, this is a ficus retusa. Um, today I'm going to defoliate this tree. It's towards the end of April, and this is a tree that most of these leaves uh, are somewhat old, or at least, uh, you know, they're from the previous year, um, which I defoliated, I think, late last year. But um, I'm going to defoliate again. This helps keep light inside the tree, keeps you from losing ramifications, helps back budding, and helps you get a new set of leaves maybe a little bit smaller, more in scale, and also it'll make it easier to know if I need to remove any, if there's any wire I left on that I need to remove, um, uh, and also uh, I'll know where to prune, and also if there's any kind of infestation starting to get the leaves, it'll have a... Um, I'll be able to get rid of that, even though I don't, I don't think I have anything like that going on with this tree. So I'm going to move this a little closer, and I'm just going to, when I defoliate, I, um, you know, a lot of species of trees, you only defoliate a healthy, growing, vigorous tree, because um, for some trees it's more stressful than others. Most ficuses, it's not all that stressful, but as long as it's a healthy tree, um, and you're doing it at the right time of year. Um, there are other trees, like I have a hornbeam. They don't seem to like it as much. Um, if it's healthy and vigorous, I'll, I'll uh, leaf prune that pretty much like once every other year. Um, a redbud tree I defoliated once, and it took a long time for that to come back. So I'm most likely not going to do that with my redbuds, even though I'm sure if it's very vigorous and growing on occasion, you can. Um, and a lot of the tropicals, you know, are... You know, the, once the leaves get old, you can defoliate the leaves off. As long as you, you see the leaf buds at the base of those leaves, you know you're safe to prune off, just as in water jasmine and, and a number of other tropicals. Um, my Florida red maples, I defoliate once, sometimes even twice a year. They're super vigorous growers, and the leaves tend to be large, so it's nice to, with the defoliation to get the leaves smaller, more in scale. So, yeah, so today I'm going to defoliate this ficus. Basically, I'm going to come in, and sometimes when you have early on and you don't, you don't have a very defined tree yet, you can remove leaves by coming in and pulling, but you do lose some of those buds when you do that. And if you pull the leaf back, you'll, you definitely will lose the bud. But it's much safer to go in with a pair of scissors and go to the base of a leaf, leaving a little bit of the stem of that leaf and doing that. Um, you'll also see videos where some people do partial defoliation. If they just want to get light into the tree but they don't want to stress the tree as much, you can come in and fold the leaf in half and, and, and prune, you know, half to two thirds of a leaf off, leaving a little bit to, to keep, that'll keep photosynthesizes as it regains strength in the newer buds. Um, so that's an option. So. Today I'm going to totally defoliate this tree doing what I just showed you where I'm going to cut the base of that. Um, so, all right. So I just finished doing this little branch here, and I'm just going to go ahead and do that with the whole tree, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, I've got almost all the leaves off, 
It's defoliated. I have a small branch back here. I left a few leaves on only because I wouldn't mind if that branch got a little stronger. There's a little bit at the top. But I'm going to be pruning that top off. I'm going to kind of tighten up the tree a little bit. And then there's going to be little areas where stuff, you know, stuff is growing straight up. I can prune that off or uh, getting too strong and I can prune it back. And just prune a lot of the tips and get my tree cleaned up a little more. I'm going to prune this off. Being a ficus, if I stuck that in dirt, it would root really easy. You can see the leaves that I took off of it. So, there you go. I'm going to go in and clean it up a little more. Uh, if I do much to it, I'll add that to this video too. If not, this, uh, this will be the end. All right. All right, I'm all done. I uh, did some light pruning, little pieces that are grown straight up and down. Um, Thin the top down a little bit. So this will get it all ready to bud back out, keep it a little tighter, um, improve on the ramification. Um, I'll need to let parts grow. I do have some bigger cuts where I have cut paste that uh, over the next couple years need to get them to heal over. I did discover when I looked at the leaves that a few of the leaves, not many, but a few were, had some kind of insect uh, infestation where the leaves were starting to curl up and a little bit of webbing in there. So um, another benefit of defoliation is, um, is getting rid of that without having to use any chemicals or insecticide that's harmful to bees or the environment. So. And this tree, you'll see, it won't take long, a couple of weeks, this will be full of leaves again. All right, thank you. Bye.